All right, well, I'm back with this stool, and uh, to be honest with you, I, I really wanted to give up on this project. I just, I guess I just lost my inspiration for it. It wasn't going exactly how I wanted to go, uh, but then I just figured I'd, I'd push through it and treat it um, just like something that has to get done. And, and so I got a lot of the busy work done yesterday. I went ahead and cut the lap joints into the main support and cut the lap joints into the brace at the foot and the seat support. And then I ended up rounding over the main support. By the way, this is zebra wood. This is a piece that I had left over from the chairs that I built. I used a power plane to, to uh, shape the support in the center. But for the seat, I'm going to use uh, this Lee Nelson plane. This is a great plane. I haven't really used it in a long time. So I just sharpened it up and I'm looking forward to putting it to work. I've clamped the seat to my table so it's nice and sturdy and I don't have to worry about it moving around. And now I'm going to measure in an inch and a half. And I don't want to go past this pencil line when I'm shaping with the plane. So I'll constantly work the plane sort of over to the edge and then I'll try to stop before hitting the actual edge or going past the edge because I still want that nice straight line at the bottom. I can see that the wood is chipping out, so I'm going to switch the direction of the grain, or switch the direction of the plane. I've just switched over to my small Stanley plane, just to fine tune the edge a little. I'm done with the plane, you can see that I just took the pencil line at that last stroke. I just cleaned it up a little bit more and this side of the shaping is done. All right, well the majority of the shaping is done. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and I've got 80 grit sandpaper in the orbital sander and I'll clean this edge up, give the whole stool a good sanding right down to 150 grit and then I can start to assemble it. I've got all of my parts sanded and all of the holes are drilled and I did use a pocket hole jig to screw through the main support and that's how I'm going to hold the seat to the support along with screwing through the seat support. And if you're wondering uh, if I might have a problem here with expansion and contraction, I thought about that and I think I'm going to be okay because the seat and the base grain will be aligned in the same direction and hopefully they'll expand and contract together and the seat won't pull apart. If that does happen, I'll make another video and say that I was wrong, but I think it should be okay. I'm making sure to remove any glue before it has a chance to set up, and you can see as the damp rag hits the wood grain, it really comes to life. And this is a new combination for me, this using quarter sawn white oak with the zebra wood. And I really like it. I think that it's a kind of a similar tone, yet obviously the zebra wood is much darker.
Well, I'm still not sure about this design. I think this is one of those projects where uh, I just need to bring it into the house and put it in a room amongst other furniture and see what it looks like in a week or two. Now, when I was working on this project, I went and revisited last week's project and I added these legs on the side. These are just half inch pieces of cherry. And I think that the stool looks a lot better with the legs and it's definitely a lot stronger. So maybe somewhere in between these two designs will be something that I really like. And that's something that, uh, that will be a project for some time next year. So I'm definitely gonna take uh, a break from working on stools for a while. Thanks for tuning in, I'll see you soon.